Welcome to episode number four on our Stone Block 3 Let's Play. Guys, I just want to say thank you for all the support in this series. This series is the most viewed series in my channel. Although we're just starting out on our channel, I appreciate all the views and support. And with that said, we just hit 25 subscribers and that means a lot to me. Each and every one of you guys that hit that subscribe button, Thank you. That means a lot. Like I said, um, it makes it worth it making this content. It does take a little while to make this content, but you know, knowing that people are subscribing and watching makes it makes it worth it. But yeah, guys. With that said, I just wanna I just wanna show a little graph here or a chart. Currently, the last twenty eight days, ninety five point two percent of people watching are not subscribed, and only four point eight is subscribed. So. Yeah, if you're enjoying the content, hit that sub button, hit that like button. It, it really does help. It really does help get getting the video out. It helps with the YouTube algorithm to say, hey, this video is not bad. Uh, we'll, we'll recommend it to other people. And then, uh, yeah, we can build a better, uh, bigger community and we'll have fun together. That makes sense. So, yeah, with that out of the way, let's uh, let's go ahead and continue with this episode. So you guys, it, it, it has been a, a little while, like a month or so since I played in this world. Um, I got sick around, yeah, around Thanksgiving, right before Thanksgiving, I think, around there. But after I got better, I got kind of busy with life. And uh, But yeah, we are back in Stoneblock and we are going to continue with this mod pack. So I want to try to get a water wheel uh, started in this episode um so from the last time we checked uh let's see water wheel we're gonna try to get this going and it doesn't seem that expensive so just some some slabs and a large cog wheel which is just a small cog wheel with another uh spruce i guess so yeah let's make this and then i will be right back once we have a water wheel all right, I think we're almost done. Should be able to make the big cogwheel or the large cogwheel, and then we can make the water wheel. Nice. All right, so how do you work this water wheel? Um, hmm. Let's see, let's make this area a little bit bigger. I guess we could do this will be faster. There. Maybe, um, maybe like one, two, maybe three back. That should be good. Not that much. Yeah, it should be good. This is a bit bigger. Um, water wheel, water wheel, water wheel. Uh, we probably need water. So <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, empty some stuff here. Oh yeah, we have a crystal chest. Let's, uh, let's pop this in here. We have diamonds, I think. Yeah, we have diamonds, so we can probably pick it up if we need to. Oh, nice. That is awesome. All right, cool. That is more than a double chest. A double chest is a nine by six, which is 54. This is nine. It seems like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 11 by 11. That is pretty awesome. Um, let's try to figure out what we're going to how we're going to do this, the water wheel. Um, let's see how big it is. Oh, wow. It isn't that big at all. Okay. Um, I guess we are, we can pick it up with this. Yeah. Okay. So that is not big at all. I was worried that it was going to be as big as, cause I know the, the immersive engineering, uh, water wheel was pretty big like i remember working with it i had to make a big structure before so this is a lot better let's see how this works though because with the other water wheel we had to uh we had to put water around it so you could i mean like like flowing through it to make it spin so i'm thinking this is where we connect these things Okay, nice. That looks like it connect on both sides. Now, how do I turn it? Let's see. Okay, that's not how you do it. Okay, I think I think we need some type of like a gearbox or something, or andesite casing. One of those. Let's see if the gearbox will turn it. So that connects to it. 
and then is that how you turn it i don't know we need to put water in this so probably we'll need to have an area where the water can flow through so it doesn't flow everywhere so let's put this one one lower and then uh, put water here we have infinite water source somewhere i don't remember if we have that yes we do here <laughs> okay so let's see uh if we're gonna put the water there we might need to kind of close this off so it doesn't flow outside and just uh okay so it's only a one block thing let's see if this works and if if it does we might need to create a few more um probably need you did i grab it i did all right cool we will light you up up here and then see if we could make this thing move i, I don't know if i should put the water okay that 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 is working but this is not turning oh it is turning it is turning so we could probably put one more here nice okay let's move all this so this is the water thing is this the one this is the um to wash stuff okay 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 let's uh let me move this over one or wait how many because i want to uh this okay, one two three let me move it over yeah let me move it over and then i think we can do both sides right we have both this side and this side what i'll do is i'm gonna move this over maybe somewhere here kind of like look at it and see how we're gonna set it up but we're gonna move the water wheel a little bit and then make another gearbox and kind of connect it because i think if you connect it but how do we connect this thing because i think more gearboxes because does the gearbox have anything underneath give me a second i just kind of want to see the gearbox if i i don't think there's anything underneath right if i put the gearbox there's not a not a connection underneath let's see yeah, so their, their, their connection's only uh, three sides, it looks like. Or four sides. Okay, all four sides. So how do I make vertical? Uh, how do I make the, um, that thing go up or down? All right, so I'm going to figure out how to, uh, how to move that vertically and then connect both the, the millstone and the encased fan to our water wheel. And that should... It's kind of like uh, automatic uh, sieving from the old Sky Factory mod packs. All right, so I'll be right back, guys. Just going to move that over. All right, so I moved this over about three blocks over. And then now we're going to try to see if we can connect both of these to run passively. It's not centered for now. It's fine. It's gonna kill me though. I'm probably gonna fix it later. It's, but for now, that's that's good enough. Uh, we need food, huh? Yes, we need to upgrade our farms for sure. Getting hungry a little bit. Little detour here. All right, so let's uh, try to see if this works. So I did figure out that um we're gonna need a vertical gearbox to turn it up. But we might need another one here. I'm just realizing. But let's see if we could actually start washing automatically. Uh, also in here with our millstone, I put a hopper and a chest. So hopefully once we put stuff in here and then it just runs it, it's just going to put the, the output in there. All right, but let's see if we can do this part. And then after that, we can connect that. I think I, I do need to make another vertical gearbox though, but let's just try to connect this. So I think we just popped it in like this. And then now we will turn it with the, the regular gearbox. And then we'll just uh, connect this over 
And yes. But it is uh, doing the opposite. Because it's sucking stuff in. Okay. Okay, so for now, <laughs> I'm going to try it this way. That is working, but it's uh, we need to shift click it or something. So let's connect this. So we'll turn this because what you do is just pop it in here. And it'll change it to a vertical and go back. So it's interchangeable. So we'll make two vertical gearboxes and see if we can power the millstone and automate that for now. And then I'm going to try to figure out what's going on with that because it's going backwards just noticed it so we're gonna put a vertical gearbox right does that mean i need two? Oh, geez what the hell hmm how are we gonna do this dilemma dilemma Oh, okay, you know what we could we could do? We can move this over and uh, let's see. We can just um, move the cog wheel here and it should start turning it and then we can move this for now, just move it here. Let's see. Oh no, you know what? I probably should have put the, this thing there. Okay, let me move this over. Try it again. Third time is a charm. I hope. Or what is it? Fourth or fifth time? <laughs> well, this time, hopefully it'll work. Uh, let's take this as well. Oh yeah, I already used up my uh, my axe. Okay, so that all goes there. Let's move you out of the way. Put that there. And that should turn it. Oh yes, okay, cool. So, I mean, it's uh it's something right so let's try to see if this works we're gonna put all the gravel in here i think you can do it with a uh we're just gonna throw it for now but i think we can put hoppers up here as well as long as i didn't grab it right yeah so let's see if that actually automates it just waiting Oh, I grabbed all of it. Sorry. Oh, it is working. <laughs> I'm just a dork. Let me let me go ahead and pop all that in there. So now I just got to figure out how to turn this the other way around. Okay. B R B. Okay. So to uh, to turn this around, uh, I was checking the create mod thing. And uh, we need to throw our axe on the floor, pick it up, jump between this, and hope it should spawn here. I'm just kidding. So yeah, so I was checking the create mod, and what we need is a gear shift. This should change it from a pull to a push, or a push to a pull. There's a way to change it. And if we can ponder, we can see what it's going to do. So I guess we need some kind of redstone, and it'll change the rotation so that will help us out but we need redstone so to get redstone we have gold diamond no so i think redstone let's see done through dust Leave uses so yeah so bulk washing dust will give us a 10 percent chance of getting redstone and also quartz just a couple of redstone so let's uh let's turn this into dust cool now we have dust and we can just wash it there so we need to uh shift 
Oh, there's a there's a um, bee. We probably should see what that's gonna get us. It worked. Do we have any? Yes, I see a redstone. <laughs> Just one redstone. And that's all we got, bro. Out of all that, look. All right. Well, you will give us redstone, right, my dude? I think he's in there. Should we even? Yeah, let's see what they're going to give us. Let's just see. Yo, all right. Just, oh, nice. You already dropped something here. And what is this? Oh, pipe upgrade. All right, whatever. Oh, more stuff. And more stuff. Oh, chance cube. Is he still dropping stuff? Yeah, he sure is. Okay, let's empty some of our inventory, I guess. Let's see what else he will drop for us. More chance cubes. Ooh, few eggs. What is this? A dripper. Oh, that was a quest item. Nice. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Mr. B. Okay, so let's see how this is going to work. Um, we have our redstone now, so let's go make ourselves a gear shift. Cool. Okay, gear shift done. So what we are going to do is like right here. What is going on? There. And then do that. And do this. No, not shift, but just click, I guess. There. And there. So then now we need some type of uh, another redstone. Okay, so we do need another redstone because it's still pulling. What if I just put a lever on it and just change it? Let's see. That would be fine. Is this how you make a lever? Okay. Because this sets off some type of a... Uh... Yes, that works. Oh, let's go. All right, um, now we need to try to, uh, okay, before we end the episode, I'm gonna make one more thing, and that is an auto hammer. So let's see, what do we need? Because then now, after auto hammering stuff, okay, we need redstone, more redstone, gold and iron and iron. Okay, so we have that, we just need a couple of redstones. We could probably make our auto hammer somewhere here make this a little bit bigger and then we can move our um, cobblestone generator somewhere there so we can make cobblestone automatically get the auto hammer to hammer it and get a whole production set up but that is awesome we have this working and we have that working we just need to get more stuff in there so let me try to get a couple more um, redstone and i'll be back once i uh, have enough stuff to craft the auto hammer and connect it to our to our little factory here so i'll be rb there we go we got one let's see if we can get any more oh so much better Yes, I think we had enough. We got another red thing in my jiggers there. We have three total. Let's see if we can make the uh, auto iron hammer. So, just gotta make more of this. Oh, it's gonna be good once we have an auto hammer. And um, we have the auto millstone and we have the auto washer. What else do we need? I know there's another thing called the. Uh, the crushing wheel so maybe we could try to figure out what we need to do for that for for later um let's see let's yep we have enough what else do we, need? we need some glass right yeah so and an iron hammer so okay now we should be able to make the auto hammer nice automatically crushes materials down using the hammer based on the tier of the hammer very cool. I wonder if it has a uh, a usage. I don't think so, right? Oh, nice auto hammer. Let's go. Let's um 
make this a little bit bigger just so we have space let's go that is not the right hammer i don't have any okay i have this my apologies okay let's do this maybe two should be okay for now uh, let's make it let's make it three Okay, that's good for now. I just want to set this up and see how it works. I am thinking we just need to uh, connect it with that thing now. Let's see. Somewhere there. There's an input there. Now, is this the same? How do I put stuff in there? Auto hammering. Okay, so... I'm thinking this is the input and this is the output. But how do we power it? Do we power it with this thing? Okay, let's see if we can actually use a hopper <laughs> to put stuff in. Okay, oh, what the fudge? You mean to tell me it doesn't need any power? Wait, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. This, this is a... So I can just set this up over here then. Okay, let's see. Let's make another hopper. And if it works, that's an awesome end to this episode. Let's see. And I was just guessing about the hopper going in there. I thought we needed to use pipes or something, but... Uh, wait, so do we put a chest there and then it'll just extracted to a chest let's see i made a hopper but i'm like okay i don't think it's gonna exit with a hopper but maybe we could put a chest my goodness gracious that's it yo so we can just pop this and like we can put literally put a uh cobblestone gen we can just move this right now let's see let's move it and then pop it in here and that's automated you don't need to have any power for it wait yes it's working because it's going in ah 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 and there's six in there and it's going here and getting the gravel we can put another one if we wanted to do we could just put the gravel and just automate it put it in here with a hopper or just do that and then it starts doing it automatically so we have a pretty much as the beginning of automation here and we have a looby there we're just gonna let them hang out but pretty good progress in my opinion so we were able to make the water wheel automate it to our uh, encased fan and our millstone and also made an auto hammer that's generating this gravel automatically. And we could probably just uh, do this maybe. Let's see. And then that will, after we're done with all the um, the cobblestone inside the, the buffer, there's, there's nine in there. And they'll start doing the gravel and stuff like that but we can do just uh like an assembly line right one with all the one with the gravel one with dirt one with sand one with dust and then we could just bring it over here and automate stuff and put it in here or whatever else we need to do but yeah that's pretty cool i, I just want to take one more look before we end the episode let's look at our uh because we didn't really oh we did do some quests but not not uh concentrated on the quest just doing random stuff to automate things but let's see what we could do for the next uh episode we're gonna collect all this stuff later um i think i'm gonna try to make the crushing wheel um i'm not sure what that's gonna be needed for but i'm thinking it's gonna be a necessary evil for us to progress and then maybe um work a little bit on storage would be nice to see I'm going to kind of look to see if we can get into applied energistics or not. Might be too early, but you never know. Um, and then, yeah, just going down the list. I am 
happy with the progression we made in this episode and it, once again guys thank you for all the new subs um, we are up to 25 subscribers and please if you enjoy the video hit that like button and, and subscribe currently our uh, the people watching were at 95.2 percent not subscribed and only 4.8 subscribers so yeah let's let's uh, hopefully um, get that number a little bit higher would be appreciated it makes it really worth it for me to make this content and hopefully you guys enjoy it and i'll catch you guys again next time peace peace out peace world peace um see you guys later bye 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 bye